What's up guys, welcome back to the Big Logan channel. I'm your host, Big Logan. So behind me here is Peggy the Ram Pro Master. This is Build Series Episode 7, and today we're doing a DIY shower pan. We're not gonna buy one, we're gonna 100% build one from scratch using some plywood and some two by lumber, and about 95% of an as seen on TV product known as Flex Seal. That's right, we're gonna use white roll-on by, by the court flex seal and will this stand up for a shower application well you'll just have to wait and see and find out on today's episode hey guys thanks for watching i hope you subscribe to big logan channel today let's get this episode started Woo! So we just finished up episode six, which was the plumbing episode. We did two showers in here, uh, one sink faucet, and we have a 30 gallon fresh tank and a 15 gallon gray tank under the van. So we got that all installed, I gave you a teaser. Next thing on the list is to do a DIY shower pan. So I'm not gonna buy one because the dimensions of where our shower is gonna be inside the van is a little bit off from what you can buy out of fiberglass or anything pre-manufactured. This portion right here that we're doing today with this DIY shower pan is gonna close out this area. And I'll probably include putting on the butcher block that actually swings up hinges out of the way of the shower so yeah this is a convertible shower we're actually going to conceal the mixer and the shower head up here with a little false bottom cabinet it's actually sitting right here it's already done hey check that out in this episode if you guys want to see all these diy vanities and cabinets we did all the overhead cabinets as well they're staged in the garage way back there tucked out of the way anyway so we're going to get down to this the first step of doing this project, I've already got the hole drilled through the bottom of the van. So this is also matched up. I crawled underneath and referenced that hole and we have a good line up there for the drain. So what I wanna try and do is to get a small soup bowl type effect by maybe cutting with the circular saw through the laminate floor. So the other component that we found that'll be pretty handy is a sink drain without the hole in it for the stopper. So it's just a fully threaded piece that's gonna drop right down through the body of the van, tighten up and seal with that rubber lip there. Whenever I thread down and tighten this from under the van with the nut, this should pull down and stretch that plywood and pull it down to give it a good spot for the water to collect. So I wanna try and keep the water from sitting up here in this corner as much as possible and get it to drain from back here with ease. If we have to, if we have to touch up and dry out this little bit after we're both done showering, whoever's done showering in the van, that's fine. We definitely want to try and collect near the drain though, not any of these corners. So first step of today, since I already have these panels pre-cut. I'm gonna cut out some of this laminate flooring and see what it looks like underneath. Let's do it. good bow there you might be able to see my finger back here so what I'm gonna do is tape over this and then flex seal right up to the lip of that build it up right here that way the water just transitions right over the top and in try and eliminate this lip as much as possible around the drain so insulate knock the paneling in frame it around around that wheel well put that plywood down and then start caulking and sealing all this in here so let's get going Hey 
Hey guys, we got wood and it's ready to go in. So I pre-sanded some of this stuff on the exterior. We're gonna paint it white to match the cabinets. All inside of here is gonna be flex seal. And I'm gonna seal these pocket hole screws with Alex Fast Dry caulk. The same caulk that I'm gonna use to clean up all the edges of the quarter inch paneling that we just put in. So let's take this in, see how it fits up. And it looks good. So I'm gonna plant these with pocket screws, check back in with you. So here it all is, screwed down into the subfloor. Next, I'm gonna trim this out with a uh, chamfer trim. So it just makes a 45. And this one's cut here to show you guys, I'm covering up these corners. And that'll give me a smoother transition when I go to caulk all this stuff. So that's up next, time to trim out all these big gaps all the way around here, get ready to caulk this. So I'm gonna use Alex Fast Dry just as a preliminary layer before we put on the flex seal. So this is just gonna go trim up all these cracks. All this stuff is nice and dried up, solid. So now it's just time to make a nice transition around here, fill in some gaps, fill in these pocket hole screw holes and get to it. So let's get this caulk in. So a nice smooth transitions now between everything. All the nail holes are filled in. Next step, I'm gonna tape up the drain so we can build that flex seal up really good and smooth around that. So let's get to it. All right, time for our first coat of Flex Seal. Let's get coat number one down. Gonna let it dry for a whole day. We'll check back in with you once this is on. And there she is. First coat of Flex Seal on. Man, it goes on rough. It does not like to spread. It just likes to glob and collect together. The finish is actually gonna be pretty tub-like though. You can see the shimmer on it. It's like self-leveling already. I put a very liberal first coat on, so I'm gonna give this thing a full day to dry. So I will come back tomorrow afternoon and reapply coat number two. So I used half of that quart. So I'm gonna finish off that quart and I think this is gonna be done. All right guys, we'll see you tomorrow. All right, this stuff has dried after about 14 hours. And here is the shower pan. So all dried up you can kind of see it has that shimmery sheen i mean it looks like a shower pan so i'm gonna put on a second coat some of this stuff has soaked in or went on kind of thin here you can kind of see the discolorations so we're gonna keep that up one more coat and then we are gonna water test this bad boy after another good day and evening of drying so tomorrow we will put water in this shower pan and put it to the ultimate test let's get back to it Good morning guys, good morning. So this is set for about 21 hours since we left off with you guys yesterday. And here is second coat dried final product. If you guys can see the detail of this, it's not a perfect finish by any means, but I think it is gonna be very functional. But we're gonna find that out right now. I'm gonna dump about two and a half gallons down this drain, see how these cracks look, see if this thing's holding. Let's get the water test on. All right, here goes nothing. Got about two gallons, two and a half gallons of water. All righty, and there it goes. Water's beating up really good here. Just like a regular tub. 
So I wanted to update you guys. I ended up replacing all the slip fittings with these inch and a half barb fittings. So I only use slip right at each of the drains. Here's the shower pan drain with that nut I was telling you guys about. The Hep V sanitary waste valve and then inch and a half flexible spa tube hosing, I think for like hot tubs and stuff with these big inch and a half barb fittings. And that goes all the way around to the gray tank and right in. So this is really robust, rigid stuff. And it looks great. And I see no leaks after dumping those two gallons of water in. So this system is a check. I think it works. Awesome. Let's see the little beads of water over here. I like it. I like it. Hey guys, well that's a wrap for this episode. So we got this shower pan done. Next up is all the electrical, which will live over here on this side of the van. That's coming next week. Might be a part one out of a part two series to do all the electrical in this van, but I'm gonna get started on it today. So hopefully I can wrap up all the electrical by next week, put together an episode for you guys. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you like this video. Subscribe to the Big Logan channel today. We'll see you guys. Peace.